Hi everybody and welcome to 3D Survey Tutorials. We've got a slightly changed workflow and today we're going to show you some basics so you know how to work on your projects. First, you see we've got a new welcome screen. It gives you options to choose from your recent projects or to open a new project. We're going to navigate to new project today. Click the button, navigate to your folder, select all the images and click open. A telemetry importer window pops up for you to select your UAV model. Our drone this time was Phantom 4, that's why we're using the EXIF data option. Don't forget to select your project coordinate system from your drop down menu below and click import. If everything was successful, you'll see this nice pop up window, click OK to confirm. From this table, you can see all your coordinate data and all your offset data. If everything's fine, click close. Once you've confirmed all the numbers, you'll see your camera positions displayed in 3D. You can switch on or off all the image names. You've got the options to select or deselect particular images to include or exclude them from your project calculation. Today, we're going to choose all the images. As you can see, they're set on two different heights. That's because our flight was at two different heights, 60 and 80 meters this time. Okay, selecting all and continuing our project to bundle adjustment. Click the button. You're going to see two options here, global and incremental. For big data sets, always use global and set your flight height to the, to the highest one of the two or three. Doesn't matter how many you've done. Click OK and then let 3D Survey calculate the bundle adjustment for you. It's going to take a few minutes. We'll see you shortly. OK, bundle adjustments finished. We can see all the images have been registered and bundled up. We can continue to orientation. This time we're going to additionally orientate our model with ground control points. So select your GCP data option and navigate to your folder. Select your GCP points coordinate file and open it. You'll see all your data here just for review. And below, make sure that all your coordinate systems are selected correctly. Click Next. And then we're going to go back to our standard process of selecting at least three ground control points with your right mouse click. Upon doing that, 3D Survey will recognize all the rest and they get marked in green. You can double check that manually by looking at the other images. Use previous and next image button on the top to do that. Make sure that you've selected the right target diameter to your right working pane and click Next. Some of the targets get colored in red. You can also double click on them to deselect or select, meaning include or exclude them from your calculation. Use your scroller if you need to down or upsize your targets to make it easier for the selection. Once you're satisfied with the result, click Next and you'll get to your telemetry to GCP offset window that shows calculated offsets as a result of different coordinate system inputs. We can clearly see that the z-axis offset is too large. That's because we haven't included geoid height in our calculation. Wait for a few seconds for the orientation summary table to display and click finish if total estimated errors are satisfactory. That brings us to the next step, dense reconstruction. Set your parameters. Make sure that the minimum overlap is set to at least three. When you've done that, click OK to start the reconstruction process. This can take up to several hours, depending on the size and complexity of your data set. Once it's all over, 
we end up with a metric geo-referenced point cloud. You can always work with your point cloud, move it around, rotate it and take a look and make sure that everything's okay. To calculate our digital surface model, we're going to go to our classification process. Click the button, open the window and start to classify your terrain. Make sure you find a point that reflects most of your terrain, click on it and 3D survey will automatically detect the rest of the terrain based on your initial parameters. Here you can see all this selection. We're going to go and we're going to click the button delete other. That's going to eliminate everything else and gives us option to calculate our surface model. Click DSM, calculate new and you get a pop-up window. In most of the cases just use average point calculation. And this is what we end up, a nice smooth surface model that gives us options to calculate digital orthophoto. Go to your toolbar, click DOF, calculate new, and you're going to be shown the best possible resolution for your orthophoto calculation. It takes a few seconds and we end up with a nice geo-referenced metric orthophoto. That's it for today. Thank you and we'll see you next time.